Okay. Okay, first of all, I want to say this video is coming up late because I already just watched NXT. First things first, I hope everybody had a wonderful time spending Thanksgiving with their families and friends if you ever invite them. Anything else, my Thanksgiving was nice. It was a nice spending time with my family again, even though my grandparents weren't there. But let's just go over this because NXT was in, it mainly recapped uh, War Games. I was like their source of, you know, the biggest pay per view. And I and me and my brother were talking about it, and I will tell you, like the biggest match was of course. I think the best matches, in my opinion, in my opinion, that was a good match, was Johnny Gargano and Aleister Black. I think War Games was fun, but all it was was fun. But it was an entertaining show. It had some entertaining matches. I think the most repetitive matches was Valva Team Dream versus Tommaso Ciampa. I, d I didn't mind the 2 out of 1 fall match with... The Ace versus Kyrie Sane. Anyways, let's go over some of the matches that happened. Because our main event was Nikki Cross. That was already on SmackDown. She debuted on SmackDown weeks ago when she faced off against... Yes, it was against Becky Lynch. Before she got her concussion. So, yeah, I don't know why she came back. It was... Fiddle Bravo versus Keith Lee that Keith Lee beat. It was an alright performance because Keith Lee, they're doing something with Lars Sullivan. It looks like they're going to face off next week on NXT. They already previewed it. And both were squash matches because pretty much after a big show like that, you don't want to see any other good wrestling, even though the main event was pretty nice. It was pretty good athleticism. Even though there's two powerhouses going at it, Lars Sullivan can wrestle. He's a scary ass big man doing like Braun Strowman, the height of Braun Strowman, and yet the skills of Biggie Links. And people don't like me making these comparisons, but when I bring it up, it's pretty accurate when it comes to seeing matches like that. Anything else? There was the main event was Nikki Cross. There was only three matches. Remember, NXT's only like an hour. You're going to see, like, three matches in a build-up. They brought up Matt Riddle versus Cassius. I don't know how Matt Riddle beat the shit out of Cassius. I don't know, in just a few seconds. Then we had the NXT Championship. About Valentin becoming this short to beating Tommaso Ciampa. Kyrie Sane losing via upset because of help against from the NXT Champion. Then we had the, of course, I think the most memorable part that they're trying to make was, of course... The War Games, that's not going to be in any other future feud because most of the other superstars have their own problems with each other, especially Rick, uh, Ricochet, Chris Dunn. And, of course, I think the most compelling feud, because it's been going on for weeks, was, of course, Johnny Gargano and Aleister Black. And I think that was one of my favorite matches because... I always like whenever you make that loud sound and hit your leg. I mean, it, it was a pretty entertaining NXT, but it, I think it was my opinion. Opinion-wise, I thought it was the most disappointing. It was War Games. I expected a lot more matches. I expected... They did the most predictable spots, and most of the spots were predictable, but some moves were pretty insane. But you expect that in War Games. You expected that from Undisputed. You expect them to cheat. You expect them to do stuff and and become no-selled. It just became, it became like any other Hell in a Cell match or Elimination Chamber match. We just see it just has War Games as the title and nothing to make it that insane. Things that didn't involve any other bigger stars except your UK champion, your North American champion, and the NXT Tag Team Champions. With some big muscular dudes that are incredibly athletic. That had a moonsault involved by a big man. A uh, corkscrew. No, it wasn't a corkscrew, but it was a huge flipping. It was like 360, and then he went down and beat the. And like seven men were somehow attacked. Like, Ricochet is like over 150 pounds. So I don't think he's going to hurt anybody. 
with that type of splash, but it was insane. I think the biggest match so far for next week is going to be, of course, Keith Lee versus Lars Sullivan. We don't know what's going to happen with Matt Riddle. We don't know if there's going to be a continuous feud with Cassius Ono after an embarrassing loss weeks ago, uh, just on Saturday. So, that's most of my recap for NXT and TakeOver, because I, I was mainly focused on Survivor Series, folks. I mean, I wanted to focus on TakeOver. I wish I could have done a fully length recap on TakeOver, but it was not that good. So, really appreciate it. Thank you.